By default, Unity uses a default, if you go to the top right corner, a default layout type. What we want to do though is just very quickly, we're just going to use this and it's going to be generic for all the lessons that we go through. We're going to create a layout that we can actually use consistent with how we're going to be working. We're going to take, if you notice, the tabs on each of these. The tabs, when you click, they turn blue. I'm going to left click on a tab and drag. It's going to pull it off and then it's going to snap to wherever I move closest to. If you go on top of one or if you go to the top bar so you can see how the, the basic movement and just kind of get comfortable with it. What we're going to do is create a project tab on the left hand side. We're going to create our hierarchy over here on the right hand side. So it's going to be a hierarchy bar and inspector bar. We're going to have our console down on the bottom part. We have our scene, game, and asset store located right through here. On the scene, you have the option depending on how you build. You may find yourself wanting to have the scene and the game set up like this. Sometimes it's useful to have the, ga the game and scene set up left and right of each other like this. For our standard purposes, most of the time we'll have it set up so that we have the scene and game right next to each other on the top here. So if you're in edit mode, you're just in scene. If you push the play button and you go to game mode, it'll automatically switch you to the game mode. And when you turn off the play mode, it'll simply take you back into the scene mode. All right, so if you have this, the only other thing we'll do, and we'll, go, we'll bounce back and forth between the, uh, the setup. On the project, you have a two column default setup. Oftentimes, we'll switch back and forth between. When you right click here, you can choose one column layout or two column layout. If we choose one column layout, we just get a standard hierarchy type system right there. And then you want to make sure you go over to your default on the right hand side, the layouts, and go down to save layout. And then just simply save the layout. Typically I would say um, use your name, so your last name. I might do last name and then I'm just going to say the layout type. And this might be uh, center screen or this might be training uh, type. So I could say walker training and then save. And that means that whenever you get, so if I go in here and I mess this all up, I can go back to my Walker training and click on Walker training and it makes everything fit back to where it was. So this is, this will be our basic setup that's going to allow us to go from here uh, into the tutorials and just be able to make sure that we're all staying consistent where all the uh, panels are and the windows are.